Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a hail I'm a wise clown. I'm an impact. And uh, I like to do these daily little energetic ramblings about my take on the collective mainstream. You know, how things are. Oh. Talks over there on a sun and chair. It was a rough night, and freaking Luna, my girl dog, man, she gets always gets feisty around the full moon, and he's got it. One thing about being an empath is like you just want to help, you just want to help all the time. And sometimes there is the times of allowance, but the allowance draws a make creates a dissidence, and well, for me, I can only speak for myself. I don't. I, don't, I share in a general way and speak on things that I know of, and I'm not trying to convince nobody of nothing and change nobody's mind on nothing. I just want people to think about different things because all the stuff that you know people have been thinking about have gotten us the whole world into a place that is just really, really uncomfortable. I mean, it's always been comfortable for people like me. The too much, the heavy end of the emotions, the... You think too much. Well, maybe if other people thought a little more, we wouldn't have gotten here. But oh well. What are you gonna do? Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what's going on in the world right now. Like, if anything big has happened today, because I don't even want to look. You know, I'm just trying to keep myself calm and do my daily practices. And, and the dogs got in a tussle last night. I forgot Luna was in there, and it was. I was getting ready to go to sleep and um, was watching some mom. I had a pleasant exchange with Mimi Kennedy on Instagram. That was nice. I, she, she posted a picture of a, a fire hydrant, and I'm like, boy, Nebraska's going to need all new infrastructure, probably, you know. Don't use that old substar stuff. And as I, as I said that, I look at my my battery. And when I brought my laptop out about ten minutes ago, it was at sixty five percent. And I was thinking, and it just planted a seed, so I go with it. You know, that's four uh, percent that my battery. You know, and that's what happens is batteries, like our hearts, they they stop holding a charge. You know, you know when they're new out of the package, they hang on to everything that is given to them. You know, and then that that power is reciprocated out to whatever device it's manufactured for, right? Well, we are powers of love. We are just supposed to be generating and reciprocating love. We're not supposed to be, you know, trying to acquire profits in the third margin, at the third quarter margin, blah, 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 selling, the, you know, and all that. All that stuff is made up man reindeer games. It's all dumb, right? And when I was in the Air Force, I was stationed at Offit, and it's underwater now. It's really weird. The flight line I used to support... <coughs> But just tells me, I think, I mean, I think it's really telling that Uncle Sam got grounded. Yeah, because they can't fly. They can't fly their training missions, you know. They can't waste. I mean, what are you going to do with all that money you save? Oh, they're going to, you know, build, make things better, right? Yeah. Hopefully they'll learn a lesson. Maybe they'll just close the base. Because we don't need, even need those stupid wars anymore. All those third world countries that we're in, they don't even want us there. Anyway, when I worked there, I, I, I used a hand radio a lot. And those freaking bricks, man, those batteries would freaking lose the charge after a year. So I'm like, why are all these people buying all these really expensive cars with these chargeable batteries that don't hold a charge? I wonder how long, because they're so new. I wonder how long it goes before they have to replace the whole system. Because batteries don't hold the charge. And they don't want them to hold a charge because then you have to keep buying batteries you know we're a lot farther ahead. we should be a lot farther ahead in our civilization than we are you know you can go down your own your own course of knowledge but my my path started and i'll say it every now and again so um ain't nobody ever gonna see every one of these videos and i touch on all this stuff before but um uh was with UFOs and how they reverse engineer a lot of the technology that they got from those. I mean, they didn't get the B B one bomber or B two bomber design on their own. You know, it was uh, so, and people know this, and it's coming out, and you know, and and now it's like, you know, everything. Now it's like everything that 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 bureaucracy and politicians say. People are just like, this is such bullshit. It's such bullshit. You know, 
when people when people rely on um I always thought it was you know when people rely on manners oh so much I always thought that was really weird and propriety and an advantage and you know I never really bought too much into people's degrees and stuff like that because I mean well <laughs> as you know degrees can be bought you know just because people find out about it now doesn't mean that it hasn't been going on since the whole collegiate system has you know people sell out as long as as long as there's something to be acquired you know someone's willing to pay they can get whatever they want if they got as much as what the other person wants it's all business I take it personal because I don't like business I'm a human being. I'm a spirit having a human experience. And business just takes all that stuff out of it, you know? I don't, I don't ever, if I ever have like shows or anything, I don't even want commercials. I don't want advertising. I don't need to promote who I am. What I say promotes what I am. What I've guided, what I've directed myself to, you know, incorporate into my, my knowledge field, you know, is, 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 important and 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 uh the world has lost a certain kind of wholesomeness you know you know and yeah, sympathy it is you know people got a little too comfortable with their bar you know their 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 patterns of life and just you know doing the same living the same weeks over and over just pretty much till you die or until you like you know change job i mean but I hate living the same day over and over. I've lived the same day over and over for like two years, and I'm ready for a new day, really. But, uh, <clears throat> there's so many beautiful things happening right now. There's so many wonderful things happening. I love looking at my, at my phone and seeing, you know, people turning in. It's okay, Paz. Turning in videos of, UFOs veiled in, in, in clouds, and I post those on my Insta Snap page myself. And, uh, you know, all the people are starting to see energy with their eyes, and, you know, and while well, the sun's coming out more, and all these wonderful things that people first year, you know, I la my generation, generations before me, you know. Mom's Native American, found out last year, and uh, like 30 three percent or something like that. I don't know what all that means, but I always knew that we were native because I went from the time I was a little girl, I was always out in nature. You know, and none, none of the, the modern civilization has ever really <sighs> interest me until people told me I needed to be a part of, what do they call it? I need to be a member of, a proactive member of society. And to me, I'm like, I don't want to be a sheep. You know, I don't want to do what you're just told all that. There, where's the creativity in that? And I don't know, you know, what, I never want to hurt nobody. You know, I'm not, I'm not a violent person. I'm not a, hell, I don't even like spite. And the older I get, the more like, I mean, it's almost like skittish that I don't even want it because I believe in karma so much that I don't even want to like, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know? There's a lot of hurt people in the world right now. Yeah. And I know what it feels like because I've been super hurt my whole life. I've been hurt. I've cried so much. Then I got mad. Then I stopped crying because I lived in anger. Then I got really, really, really fat, really overweight. I couldn't find my... I, and then, you know, I, I once my last relationship ended in, like, was it 2014 or 13? Into 13, 14? Into 14. I took 2015 to take real good care of myself, you know, do every treat to treat myself how I deserve to be treated, and, you know, and and uh, I thought, you know, and, I, and then it's like, okay, well, things aren't working out here, and I I predict that things are gonna get pretty gnarly out in the middle middle west, so I'm gonna go out west farther, closer to my home, where I'm in line, at least closer to my l latitude or longitude. You know, I was born in San Bernardino, so technically I'm an L alien. <laughs> That's what I always like to say. Anyway, um, so I came out here, and you know, I I learned some terrible lessons. I, God, I freaking threw away freaking 13 years sober. 
Now, I didn't throw it away. I'm not going to say that. I didn't throw it away because I learned so much more about the disease of alcoholism during that year. Taking my knowledge and incorporating it into my present experiences of drinking. And I came to the knowing that I am worth much more to this planet and much more helpful to this planet without removing my spirit with toxicants such as that. So, got that sorted out. Things are looking up, you know. And all along, the only thing that has really, really given me the peace and the grace to sustain through this journey is astrology and my faith in a power bigger than myself that I take an hour every day to plug into, to clear my energetic field, to say, take the reins. I know what it ain't me. And I hope you put me in some place where I can be of service. But you know what? The part that is people don't forget is service, where service is needed. You're not in the funnest places. So if you're on this spiritual path, I think that's what a lot of the spiritualists are coming into the realization. It's like, oh my God, you mean I can't just read cards and tell people how it is? I got to go in and go in and get my hands dirty and do work, you know? I don't, I just, you know, and I can't hardly freaking reward people for doing things that should have never been done, you know? All these states, oh, we're not going to, they're not, California is not, I don't even know if it's true or not. It could just be a story. Not all stories are real. California, you know, no more animal testing. Okay, well, what about all those big biz, biz, big makeup companies? They're still going to do it, you know? I mean, slowly and surely, but um, those big companies, uh, well, I think my train of thought derailed. Because I was going to go one way, and then I said that, and I sent me another way. So I'm done. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.